Welcome to this week's Facebook Live on MLC TV. Nope. Oh, I'm Jimmy, Mary Clark. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go. go. Yeah, now this is official. <laughs> All right, so I'm Mary Clark. I'm Meg, and we have a special guest with us today, Mr. Walt Grayson. Walt is with WJTV. He is a reporter, a writer, a produ producer, and this year's Grand Marshal of the Howl's St. Patty's Day Parade. The parade is this Saturday, March 23rd. The Mississippi Lottery employees will be marching alongside the JSU Sonic Boom of the South Band. But today we wanted to get in Walt and just ask him a few questions. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that's a good good group to be beside this year. Just yeah. as an aside, man, the Sonic Booms had a year, haven't they? Yes. I mean, yeah. in the Rose Bowl parade, and uh, this coming year. Now they were in it this past year, right? Or is it? Or is it this well, coming year? Well, they were in the Super Bowl. And they were I in the Super Bowl. Think. That's the thing. That was the big surprise yeah. for the Sonic Boom to be yes. in the Super Bowl. Yeah, that was awesome. We did a uh, one of our live shots uh, for our hometown, uh, your hometown, in Jackson. It was raining that day. We were on the Jackson State campus, and we went into the band room. You just, you just need to hear them warm up. I mean, I'd buy a CD of that. That would. That, anyway. Good. No, you were asking me. <laughs> no, no, uh, that's that's okay. I think yeah. um, Mary Clark's going to lead off, and okay. just, we'll go yes. from there. Okay, so tell us a little bit about yourself for like the players or the people watching who don't know who you are. Okay, well, let's see. I, I was born in Greenville, and uh, started out in radio when I was in high school, and came to Jackson immediately after I graduated high school and worked for WRBC, which is no longer there, and then moved to WWUN, which is no longer there and then went to WSLI, which is no longer there. And then after that, I couldn't get a job in radio because they saw the pattern erupting. Hey, he comes in. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's just the evolution of radio. Yeah. Uh, moved to uh, television in 1984. Well, actually, that's not true. I, I, I started in television back when I was working for WSLI when the radio station was just right across the driveway from Channel 12. Mm. And I started out, they needed a weekend weather person I needed more money, and so I started doing weather weekends there and worked for them on and off for, gosh, I guess three or four years. Uh, then they had a full-time weather job open up at Channel 3, and I went there in 1984 and stayed there for 35 years, and now I'm back at Channel 12 where I started. Wow. So you were a meteorologist for a little while? See, that's the problem. I'm not a bona fide meteorologist. Back in those days, all you had to do was know enough about weather to explain mm -hmm. what the meteorologist said in their mm -hmm. technical forecast and put it up on a board, you know, with the, you know, the highs and the lows and the fronts and all this other stuff, and, and then to tell them what it meant. Uh, now, that's what weather people still do. They just have a degree to go along with it. Got Not that I didn't get the degree. You're just the liaison. I went to the Woody A. Saff and Bob uh, Neblet School of Broadcasting, and if you've been around Jackson Television long enough, you know who those two are. Uh, Bob was a longtime weatherman at Channel 12, and Woody was a longtime weatherman at Channel 3. And why I really wanted to get into broadcasting and get into weather in particular was both of them had ice cream sponsors. One of them was Rubel, the other Sea Lily. And every day at the end of their broadcast, they'd take a scoop of ice cream and eat it. Oh my gosh. And I was thinking, nice. oh man, pay and ice cream too? Yes, that's what up. I want to do. Yeah, let's say maybe we should do that every time we enter Facebook Live yeah, instead of coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, awesome. Okay, so this year you are the Grand Marshal. Yes. Have you ever been the Grand Marshal? No, I've never been the Grand Marshal. I've been, well, I, I, I guess I have too. I've been in some Christmas parades, mm -hmm. Grand Marshal of Christmas parades, but never the Grand Marshal of the St. Patty's Parade and never expected to be. Okay, so what was your reaction then when you were crowned Grand Marshal or whatever the term is? Well, um, I got a call um, from uh, Malcolm White. He said, we want you to be the Grand Marshal. My first reaction is, who is this really? <laughs> so, <laughs> but I, I'm very honored. You know, this is something that's just, you know, usually it's people who have a big reputation, a large following and things like that. And if that's me, I never considered that. I just go to work every day and do what I like to do. Well, I definitely feel like you have a big following and you well, impact you. people a lot. I was watching some of your old videos of you going to St. Patty's Day Parade and talking to people and everything. Yeah. I just feel like you're such a, you have a great attitude and you are always involved in so much stuff all over the state, I feel like. And everyone knows who you are. Well, I do, I like this, like with Mississippi Roads, mm -hmm. um, 
I love Mississippi, and I, I think that uh, Mississippi is probably the least understood state in the Union, particularly to the people who live here, because a lot of times we only get our image of Mississippi from what we see from the national media, which is mm -hmm. never good. Mm -hmm. um, well, and half the time they mix us up with Alabama, too. Well, that's true, that. too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but so I, one th reason that I wanted the job of Mississippi Roads and all the feature stories that I've done over the years about Mississippi is to go out to show what Mississippians are really like, what we really have here. The other reason is it keeps me out of the office. So, mm -hmm. and so I get to go everywhere. The yeah. farther away, the better. <laughs> well, speaking of parade, you said you watched old clips of it. Mm -hmm. How yes. many years have you attended the parade? Yeah, I really don't know. It started back during covering the parade for Channel Three, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it, it wasn't every year that I went. Some years they would have other people that would go. So, probably at least twenty years back. So I would think. Okay. Malcolm White told me about that first parade, though. Have you heard, ever heard that story? I don't think so. Okay, so uh, they were going to do the St. Patrick's Day parade, and they did it on St. Patrick's Day of that year, and it was a Thursday. And he said it was him and some of his friends. Um, let's see, uh, the Sweet Potato Queen was in it, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, she told me that she, you know, dressed up with Sweet Potato Queen and picked sweet potatoes <laughs> to, to people out of a pickup truck. But it was on a Thursday, 4 o'clock in the afternoon in downtown Jackson. Malcolm said, yeah, they were going down the street, people waving at them, honking their horn, all that. said, boy, people are really getting into this. He said, no, they were wanting us to get out of the way so they could go home. <laughs> but it actually caught on. Um, he said that first year was more like a bar crawl, and they didn't have a two bars, so they just had to crawl from one to the other. Yeah. And but after that, it, it, this is not the kind of thing. This parade is not the kind of thing you can go to the, the uh, chamber of commerce office and say, "Hey, I have a plan for a big event," mm -hmm. and it actually happened. This is something that had to do exactly what it did, and that was just evolve. Yeah. Uh, and it was bigger every year, uh, and took on added dimensions every year, mm -hmm. uh, especially when uh, you know, the sweet potatoes became a worldwide phenomenon and then started participating in the parade with not only the uh, St. Patty's Parade, but also the Sweet Potato Queen's reunion, uh, I guess is what they have every year. Uh, so it, just, it became an event, uh, and it's a big event for Jackson, and I'm honored this year to be riding up in the front of it. So you'll be at the very front? Very front, yeah. Okay. Do you have to float waving? It, in the back of a, a T-Bird convertible. Okay. Yeah. Nice. But I've practiced my wave already. I've been watching <laughs> all the royals, you know, things. Yes. And, so. Well, good. So what are you looking forward to the most then, I, Saturday? I really enjoy, I enjoy seeing the people. I've ridden on some floats a couple mm -hmm. of times with Channel 12. And while people come down to the parade to see the floats, after a while, after a few minutes, I noticed how entertaining the crowd was. So it's, it's two shows at once. It's the people watching the floats and it's the people on the floats watching the people. Yes. It's a very entertaining thing. And the thing I like about it is probably, I guess, it's the most ecumenical thing that we have in Jackson, meaning it's for anybody and everybody. It's for all races, all ages, all denominations, even the Baptist, although they don't admit they come, they're there. Um, and I, you know, so here I'm riding them up in front of the parade. That's a, um, but it's, it's just one of the most fun things we do in Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. And um, so I'm, I'm just, I'm very pleased to be a part of it. I'm honored that they thought that I was deemed worthy enough to ride up in front of the parade this year. I'm looking forward to it too. We've mm -hmm. done this uh, the last three years, I believe, or two years, time's getting away from me with um, Jackson State, but I've never marched before. And one mm -hmm. of my friends actually corrected me the other day. I said I was walking in the parade mm -hmm. the first, for the first time. And she was like, there is no walking. <laughs> it is only marching. I was like, got it, gotcha. and marching. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. What else? Okay, the parade is Saturday. Mm -hmm. Events kick off around 9. Parade yes. starts at 1. Oh, of course. Okay, we're going to talk some business here. Okay. We had our seventh Green for Spring drawing yesterday. Um, the $15,000 winner is from Jackson, Mississippi. $10,000 winner, Jackson, Mississippi. And the $5,000 winner is from Tupelo. Now this coming Monday, the 25th, is the last drawing for Green for Spring for this year. And this time we will randomly choose 10 winners who will all receive $500. But at the parade, we will be throwing out soft Frisbees, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And they're like Nerf, Nerf foam Frisbees. Oh, yeah. And they're bright green, mm -hmm. 
keep an eye out for those because they have a QR code on them. So if you're not a Mississippi Lottery insider, either sign up to be one or look for one of these Frisbees if you're going to be at the parade Saturday because you can register that way. Yes. And we'll be throwing those along the whole parade route. So if you see a green Frisbee, catch it, grab it. Keep it and register. It mm -hmm. takes like two seconds. You just input your name, address, phone number, and then you're in. And so Last time we were in the parade, they gave us beads to throw, of course, mm -hmm. and somebody gave us little aluminum doubloons. Yeah. And so we pitched those out, and I thought, wait, people are ducking up, and we put somebody's eye out with those. So we, we threw them on the ground first, and let, ah. you know, catch, catch yes. a bounce before it hit somebody. And I figured that kept us out of a lawsuit. But yeah, you're talking about throwing Frisbees. Oh, man. But yeah. The, uh, the Nerf frisbees. frisbees, yeah. 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 I can't imagine, had... like, the sweet potato queens when they would throw yeah. sweet potatoes sweet. out. <laughs> that only lasted one year, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, <laughs> Jill, but hurts. you know, that's just a Jill Connor Brown's. This, she's hilarious anyway, if you've ever had a chance. Mm -hmm. to, they run the Today Show one time, for instance. <laughs> and her comment was, that, I've forgotten what they were talking about, but I love the comment. And she said, oh, this thing about less is more. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so. Yeah, when we launched um, Powerball and Mega Millions in January of 20, no, when we started selling scratch-offs in November 2019, they were there for the opening ribbon oh, yeah. cutting, and they definitely brought the party. And that was at like 6 a.m. on whatever day that was. Oh, that yeah. was that was a fun morning. <laughs> the Sweet Potato Queens? Uh huh. Okay. They were there. We had an Elvis impersonator. Um, and you know how I am in the morning. Like, I, I need an adequate <laughs> amount of coffee. Yes. And I was just kind of like watching with my mouth. Yeah. Like, woo, this is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> well, in other big news, if anyone is watching, I can't tell if anyone's really watching us. If you're not tuned in now, you can always watch later and comment, and we will get to your questions and say hello. But if you have, there we go. Thank you, Melanie. Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do have jackpots that are continuing to roll. For instance, tonight is Mega Millions, and that has gotten up to $875 million. Wow. wow. I got to go buy a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow and Saturday, Powerball. Tomorrow's jackpot is roughly $687 million. And then tonight's match five drawing, we are up to fifty-four thousand dollars. So, oh. lots of good stuff. Yes. Yeah. I'm praying for a Mississippi person to win Mega Millions or Powerball. Love I know that. it's our time. It's I'm always here. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Gosh, that would just be the luck, wouldn't it? Oh, look, another person. Hi, Greg. Thanks for watching. Wow. We were feeling kind of lonely without mm -hmm. people commenting. Yeah. I think everybody's just enthralled with our guests yes. today. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, anybody have anything else? No? Well, you have anything? Ah. What time will be, you be getting to the parade? Uh, we're going to be doing live shots down there that morning. Okay. And we'll so be, our, me and my employee <laughs> will be okay. uh, down there setting up a bunch of things. So maybe we'll try to come find you and talk to you or whatever. Oh, that'd be little. great. Yeah, yeah. we're going to be down by Thalia Mara Hall we'll be primarily. Right, we'll be right near y'all, so okay. we can do some interviews or yeah. little quips if you want well, As a matter of fact, that's the news director. His, his first question when it was announced that I was going to be the Grand Marshal of the parade, he came up to me and said, well, congratulations, but you can still do the live shots, can't you? So, <laughs> Just yes. because you're famous. I, told, you're yeah, I think I could work you in. I suppose. <laughs> so. That's funny. Well, good. Well, we'll see you there. And until next time, Clank. Clank. have fun, y'all. Yeah, 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 what they say.